And today we'll speak also about a new app that I'm making, but we mostly talk about how do we know if someone is interested while visiting your site. So let's move on. Most of you probably know me, uh, whether it's from my agency, Ziso LTD, from uh, being as an expert, from my themes. How goes a funnel? You're doing a marketing campaign, and uh, for those of you that didn't start or do it from the top, from the conversion, let's start all over again. So, as we know, uh, by going to a physical store, and it's amazing because by going through Dizzing Off uh, Street, I can see some of my clients, those that I build their online store, like uh, Vintage Originals and Ink and others, and it's amazing to see them physically as well. But once they go live, they, starting, they start their campaign from awareness, and why is that? Because the people that are going through Dizzing Off Street probably know them, but online, no. And the guy from Dimona or the girl from Kiryat Shmona will probably don't know this store. Hope it goes. Okay. So let's, let's say that... <laughs> can you see my screen? Oh, great. Hmm? Yeah, I can see the second one. Great. So we raise their awareness. Now people know that we exist. Now we need to make them be interested in our brand. So we need to bring more traffic and talk about our values and so on. After that, they need to make some kind of decision. Let's say that uh, they heard some reviews from their friends, family and others and would like to buy, but they need the last touch and then an action comes. So probably how we would know how to do a lookalike, how to um, remark it to those people who are interested, we'll take this funnel and probably see who bought from us and then create a lookalike and optimize our campaigns and try to go all over again. But we don't have to do it that way. So as you can see here, a summarize of what I've just said, what we usually do. So visitor add products to their cart, might even purchase them if they didn't abandon. Uh, we'll optimize our campaigns, create a lookalike audience, but as mentioned, we can do much, much more. So how do you know if someone is interested? Leave the screen aside for a moment. How do you guys know if someone is interested in your store? There are many, many visitors and people are not buying, and why is that? Raise your hand. Okay, you know what? I'll say myself. So mostly, uh, by, we know that people are interested but by more ways than just buy a product, which means that, for example, someone is visiting your site for a long time, which means there are a couple of minutes instead of just a couple of seconds. Sometimes people have like a very big hand and while scrolling in their feed in Facebook, they just clicked mistakenly on some of the ads and they didn't want to go to your site. So if someone is there for like a minute or two or even more, he's probably interested. Second thing is to visit more pages, which means that he's not just in the home page, but also go to collection page, product page, go to related products in the product page and so on. And it's also related, by the way, to the long time visit. And the last thing is engaging by pop-ups and other things that are in their site. For, for example, newsletter sign up, social share, let's say someone just went into a um, product page and click on share on Facebook, share on Pinterest and so on. Or even review as a worker back then in Yotpo, I know that there is nothing like social proof, but Yoni is here from Lux, so I can't uh, say that. <laughs> so if someone leaves a review in Lux, you can speak with Yoni later on, so he probably is interested. Might be even a return customer. But 
there's much, much more. I say that from upsells and different other ways, we can take some information if the person is interested or not, how it goes. So probably most of you um, installed many apps and uh, we know that some of the apps are local, like reconvert that I know that some of you just download looks or others that uh, the developers of those apps are here, by the way, and you can speak to them later on. And some of the apps have input fields or checkbox, right? Like the reviews, you can actually put a text inside and read the text. And it doesn't have to be just the reviews, it can be a um, newsletter pop-up, it can be uh, many other things. Even, by the way, in reconvert, in the thank you page, you can fill in the birthday date. Um, also, <coughs> with one line of code, you may segment them, which means that we say that we can actually track those people that clicked for example, you know uh, Google Tag Manager and we can create s specific events. So if we know that they click on something or did some serial of events, so we can segment those people and create a campaign for them. So we built a new Shopify app called OSS. So as you can see, this is a builder that you can actually drag and drop different upsells and put them under the add to cart. It's very easy. You can do cross-selling, upselling, whether it's wrap as gift or uh, create an insurance or anything that will increase your average cart value. If some of you know ClickFunnel, is there anyone that is familiar with ClickFunnel? Great, so it's like order bump, just moving it into Shopify. So you can use the people that already came from your campaigns, use the traffic that you already have and just get more money out of it. So let's take a look at how it looks like. So this is the editor and for example I just drag and drop the wrappers gift and put it under the add to cart and it's not just wrappers <coughs> gift but you can also put a greeting card and why is it good? For example, I get the input fields and the checkbox. I can use the checkbox to add the wrappers gift to cart if I'm the visitor that would like to buy this product. And let's say that I would like to buy flowers or I don't know, something else, candles, it was Valentine, and I would like to give it to my beloved one. So I'll write down a greeting card, say from Chen to let's say my bestie and uh, write down a text so I can actually use this information and create a segment for them and if I have enough audience to start campaigns and say, oh, come on, you leave your bestie that way on Valentine? How can you do that? And then I'll just try to play on their feelings and get them to buy it. OSS, the, the app is OSS. I'll talk to you and give you all the information for sure. So let's see how it works. <coughs> There's a phrase called boost pixel or converting pixel and it's both for uh, Facebook and Google and other platform has it as well. So as you can see, Facebook uh, and other platform as well allow to create custom events and track them with one line of code. How it works, you can see it in, uh, while searching in Google, uh, converting a pixel, uh, for example, in Facebook, and you'll see their documentation about it. But you can see that all I, need, all I write down is FBQ, track custom, because this is a custom event, write the event that I'm going to do, and if, for example, there's a promotional or a discount for this kind of campaign or this kind of audience, I'll write it down. So you can search for their documentation about it. So once we know the people that dropped as, as present, let's say for their mother and birthday, we can use this information in our marketing campaign and then just convert more. 